I want to extend a hearty congratulations to all in the School of Chemical Engineering on its 60th anniversary. May the school continue to flourish in the years ahead. I have lots of great memories. First of all, Marion Street and the great atmosphere there. Next, my classmates. We were a small group of only about 15 each year, so we spent a lot of time together. And last but not least, the great UCD chemical engineering staff, ably led by Professor John O'Donnell, Professor Jim Walsh, John Kelly, and Patty O'Flynn. Now, chemical engineering was a good foundation for me as I entered the oil industry back in 1968. And I found myself very well prepared for the technical work, particularly early in my career. My memories of UCD chemical engineering are of a small but very effective department with some uh, very committed lecturers like Prof O'Donnell, uh, Paddy O'Flynn, John Kelly, amongst others, and also some fascinating lectures on bubble theory by Professor Walsh. I think one of the fondest memories I have at UCD was the annual trip that was organised by the Chemical Engineering Society and uh, we chose to go to Italy. So we spent a week exploring chemical plants. Uh, we had a fantastic visit to Venice and it was really a very small group of us travelled with a couple of the professors and we had a fantastic time. I think what you get from doing an engineering degree is obviously a certain discipline associated with understanding how the world works and how things work. But the most important thing for me is that engineering gives you a way of thinking and analysing problems in the world. I'm a long way from chemical engineering at the moment, having worked in health, run a, an NGO now with the British Council, but I don't think I would be here without that kind of education that ChemEng brings. It's the understanding that things are interrelated, that um, a change in one thing has an impact on the other, and that's just as applicable in the field of cultural relations and cultural diplomacy as it is in chemical engineering itself. What I remember the most is the camaraderie and the team spirit and the friendships. I truly enjoy those. My chemical engineering degree from UCD had a profound impact on my career. In my first job as a process design engineer for oil and gas platforms, and it got me in the door with Dow Chemical. Guys like me who came up for the country, and I remember we joined AstroSoc uh, out in Belleville at the time. And for me before that, um, black holes and supernovae and things like that were kind of theoretical, and they were in the same space as, as Batman and Superman. And to actually meet people at the AstroSoc uh, talks who actually worked and actually had a career in investigating these things was absolutely fascinating. Chemical engineering has impacted my career at least in a couple of ways. First of all, engineering in general, I suppose, and particularly chemical engineering, is a very pragmatic science. So I found that when I was starting businesses and when you have a lot of very difficult and intractable problems to solve and you really have to beat those problems up and you really have to force them to be solved, a lot of the skills in doing that comes from engineering, which is a very practical and pragmatic science. It's not so theoretical. So that ability to solve and force solutions of problems, I think, came from chemical engineering. I guess I've been very fortunate that uh, chemical engineering is literally the foundations of everything I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, the things I learned through unit ops and fluid dynamics to thermo, you know, everything is integrated to, to my job. And I, I guess that's a, I'm a very fortunate position to be in. My brother did, uh, chemical engineering here in UCD and he also did a PhD with Brian Glennon so uh, you know we have a great family history with the school and I, you know I'm very proud to sort of have uh, followed in his footsteps and hopefully uh, done my family proud. It's a great moment in the, in the school's history for, for me personally and many people who graduated in the years around me we have um, Don McElroy, Dermot Malone and, and Frank McLaughlin uh, all retiring and you know for both myself and my brother they've been cornerstones at developing our you know, chemical engineering careers and, and for me personally in, in developing my, uh, I guess, my trajectory into APC and, uh, and beyond. So I wish the guys uh, the very best in the next steps in their career.